Okay, folks, there's been a lot of hubbub about this news article saying that Bigfoot sightings are just bare. Well, let's get to it. So these headlines have been shooting around the internet now saying Bigfoot sightings can easily be explained. Well, let's break this down. We're going to go to the studies abstract. It says previous analyses have identified correlation between Sasquatch or Bigfoot sightings and black bear populations. Yeah, no kidding. It is likely that many supposed Sasquatch are really misidentified known forms. If Bigfoot is there, it may be many bears. Of course, there are three types of bears that roam North America, the first being the Ursus americanus, also known as the American black bear, the Ursus arctos horribilis, known as the grizzly bear, and then the Ursus arctos, the brown bear, which roams primarily in Canada and in uh, Russia. So for the sake of our discussion today, we'll be talking about the first two, the black bear and the grizzly. So bears will consume about 5,000 calories a day during spring and summer. Of course, when they prepare for hibernation, then their caloric need should shoots up to about 21,000 calories a day. Black bears, their diets consist of berries, fruits, sedges, and insects, and will occasionally consume fish, honeycomb, human food, and garbage, as we all know. Grizzly bears will eat plants with fleshy roots, fruits, berries, grasses, and forbs. Their prey can include fish, rodents like ground squirrels, carrion, and hoofed animals like moose, elk, caribou, and deer. Well, if a Sasquatch was to exist, What would it eat? Well, it would eat berries and fruits, grasses, sedges, insects, honeycomb, human food, garbage, fish, rodents, carrion, hoofed animals like moose, elk, caribou, and deer. In other words, it would eat anything a bear would likely eat. So to understand how this study could miss the obvious, that very simply, they hunt the same things. They eat the same things. This means they would be in the same habitat. Well, to understand the study, we must look at who did this study. And the person who did this study was Flo Foxen. And she specializes in data management and analysis with an emphasis on simulation modeling. What one must remember is what Flo Foxen is not. She's not a wildlife biologist, an ecologist, an anthropologist, a zoologist, paleontologist, or a fish and wildlife scientist. Her entire conclusion is based on a biased opinion that Bigfoot does not exist. In fact, she states that, well, geez, there's so many bear here in this area where there's Sasquatch sightings, people must be seeing a bear and misidentifying it. Well, does a bear stand eight foot tall? Well, maybe a grizzly does, but not many black bear do. But what about the hole in her study? You know, the states that have Bigfoot sightings that don't have a bear population like Florida and Texas? Well, in those cases, she says, blame the homeless populations or maybe hunters who may be misidentified. That has got to be the biggest load of crap I've heard. There's just so many homeless populations wandering the remote forests of North America. So to me, this study is driven by nothing but bias. And of course, the media, which is always quick to poke fun at this mystery as of the last 20 or 30 years. Of course, they're quick to pick up on it and lay it on thick. But folks, fear not, don't despair. There is a Sasquatch out there. I am certain of it. Folks, if you like our content here, make sure you smash that like button. And as always, we wish everybody a healthy week. Stay safe and keep on squatching. 